talk about kind of like the scenes that are very emotional, like let's say the torture scenes and stuff in SEAL Team. What is the process of pulling that off? Because I mean, watching that, it's so convincing that that's actually happening, and it's it's terrifying. How do you actually kind of get into that that mode and pull that sort of a thing off? To don't be afraid to be vulnerable and ugly. Most of the time, when we are not able to go to a place and act in this because we're being quite vain. Mm-hmm. Vanity serves a purpose sometimes. See, this is this is why I love acting because there is no right or wrong way. There's a way that feels wrong, there's a way that feels right, but that doesn't make them either or. You have to let go of that thick skin that we build up when we're told, no, you didn't get the part. You sort of have to build up thick skin to say no, but then you have to shed all of that stuff so that you can be vulnerable and go to places that you may not feel that that your character is supposed to go. And that's the vanity. I'm a seal. I don't scream. I don't yell. I don't do this. We're seals. We do this. And, that, and that's just stupid. It is. It serves nothing. It may serve you in that you get to say that you were perfect, <laughs> but that isn't reality. And it doesn't lend itself to an honest portrayal of what would happen. You can only be so tough. I asked all the special operators, I'm like, I asked them about that scene and they was like, dude, there's only so tough you can be. You're going to scream. It's like, you're going to hurt. Like, who, who, you're, you're, you're a human. You know, you got to know where it's coming from, right? And so, you know, during that scene at, for Raymond, I found the thing that was going to make him at least look like he was broken. And it was like that something was taken from him that he could never get back. And once I knew that, I said, okay, I have to act from this place of despair. And then I just let it take me wherever it, it, it took me. And 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 the writers, um, you know, Spencer Hutton, who's our showrunner, um, the director at the time, because we wanted to Ruben Garcia. Uh, he and I talked a lot about it. They just let me play. In your yeah. mind, do you have to believe that that's happening to you at the moment to be able to act that out? Or is that literally just top class acting? I think some people do and some people don't. Some people it serves them. It's pretend, bro. I mean, you're a kid. Like some kids just go, you know, some kids just go all out. Some kids, you know, put a box around it. You know, it's it's no right or wrong way to do it as long as you get, as long as you serve the story correctly and you don't take people out of the story. And when, when I personally was doing it, I had to believe that more so than even fully believing that these guys were going to do what they were going to do to me, more so believing that I was never going to see Naima again. That was the despair. Because he could die, Raymond could die and be fine because he did it in service to his country. He did it doing what he loved. He did it um, to protect people and to protect people who couldn't protect themselves. But to take away Naima's heart destroyed him, sort of broke him. If that was the thing, that was the thing. So believing that he would never see her again, um, that I would never see her again. Uh, and Marissa Fockery, who plays Naina, does it makes it very easy. Sure. Uh, she looks good. <clears throat> but believing that was even more important than believing that the drill was about to come back. It was, you know, the pain, believing the pain that was going to come from it was more important than actually, you know, believing that it was going to be done. Does that make sense? 